Good morning, folks. Quick eclipse review as we've got two of them coming in April. First, a total lunar eclipse visible mostly from North America. Kind of rare to get them here. We also have a solar occlusion late in the month visible from Australia and the South Indian Ocean. Last night's evening news went through the coming comets and planetary positions. Siding spring will be relevant later this fall with a close approach to Mars, and we're beginning to see the rotation now. The coma needs to expand by a factor of about 10 in order to encompass Mars on its pass. We will be watching from the Mobile Observatory somewhere hopefully with little light pollution. Couple volcanoes to mention. First is Reventador in South America, beginning a new eruptive phase in all likelihood. Shots coming in there. And similar stories from Indonesia coming in from Mount Merapi. New eruption took place overnight. After days of reporting the downpours in eastern Australia, we finally have the flood reports coming in. It's not exactly going to stop today. Still got eyes near Madagascar for the development of our next cyclone as well. No major warnings for Europe, just widespread rain and even thunder potential, but some run-of-the-mill early spring for the area. Meanwhile, that's not the case in America. Snow will be heavy on the moisture drive off the Pacific, but the heat and moisture off the Gulf is bringing the potential to those states with a cold jolt mixing in, for the equalization to drop a tornado or two. Please heed the warnings in this area tonight. Solar wind is so calm it's barely worth reporting. We have no geomagnetic disruption. Sunspots on the disk are small and magnetically benign, except for the northern lead of the northern group center disk. The umbras just behind the negative lead are positive and strengthening. Nothing big happening yet, but if it's going to happen, that's where to look coronal hole, center disc, and where you see minor power only on the left, that's from yesterday. Popeye had some spinach overnight and he's got his game face on to face Earth today. Our earthquake index is slightly elevated after two calm days. If anyone is not privy to the Mobile Observatory project, you already know we do this news every day, Saturday, Tuesday, Christmas, across the country, Sunday. Without fail, the news is here. Now we're taking that on the road from a mobile observatory and science studio. My family took the leap, bought the RV to live out our dream on the road while continuing to bring you the news every day. We started the Kickstarter campaign to help turn the RV into a real mobile observatory and you hit our goal in only four days. Thank you. We're at the point where the project is funded but every little bit more helps us go to one more city or get that camera or device upgrade that will enhance our reports. The reward numbers have been cut in half to make sure everyone who gets their name on the RV gets it a little bit bigger than it otherwise would be. 50 bucks get your name on the observatory and the rewards go up. A lot have asked if they could avoid the Kickstarter payment option. Well, now that we've hit our goal, you absolutely can donate through PayPal, and that's just fine. If you want to get your name in the $50 slot, you do still need to use Kickstarter, but if you're getting one of the larger rewards, you can request that through PayPal, too, with an added message to me. Again, Kickstarter or PayPal, if you want the minimum reward, please, you got to use Kickstarter. And if you're going to donate on PayPal and you don't have a website membership, I would much rather you just get a membership for your gift. We do an evening news every day, weekly audio podcast, monthly special videos. Makes sense to get something. Also, PayPal takes less of a cut than Kickstarter. We really appreciate all your efforts and definitely want to see your name on the RV and then see you out on the road. Current conditions, shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.